Stan, I've got three pictures of you in three different outfits here. I'd like to take a little look at them one by one and um, tell me what you're wearing in that picture and a little bit about that picture. Okay. So here's your first one. Right. The first one is it's like a, a yellow sweatshirt, a t-shirt kind of, long sleeve t-shirt and then essentially a cardigan, a brown cardigan. I think the brown cardigan is kind of my my kind of like extra layer to keep me warmer basically you know it's um something of a, a calling card as well yeah do you think it kind of sh tells people that i'm, I'm a bit older okay <laughs> you know I mean? you know, <laughs> i'm not trying I'm, to I'm not I'm pretending not, to be not, younger than i am i'm not a kid you know, you know i'm kind of <laughs> i'm definitely middle-aged you, know, you know it's a lovely layer of cardigan yeah. goes on top of anything so yeah. for those people who are listening to the audio version this isn't a photograph of stan this is a carrier self-portrait um of him and i was going to ask you Obviously, when you're doing a self-portrait, you've got to, when you're doing a portrait of anyone, you've got yeah. to decide what clothes they're in, what re what it represents. Like, this is a, is it a headshot that you've done? You're kind of like calling cards to send out. Yeah, it's a headshot. I mean, it's stuff like, you know, it's my avatar on my t Twitter and my, you know, Instagram. And and every every now and again, you know, if I'll do an interview or anything, like that, that'll be the illustration I'll send them, basically. You know? Nice. And so the clothes you've chosen to illustrate yourself yeah. in, you feel are really kind of... yeah representative of really so yeah there. yeah i mean I, it's not something i actually think about but it's just one of those subconscious things is like you know i think yeah yellow is always is has always been my kind of favorite color to wear you know yeah i've seen All a lot of earth tones today and they're obviously yeah. part of the picture as well yeah. and what about the glasses as well they're a pretty iconic pair is that the pair you're wearing today no that's a slightly different pair there's the kind of a big the pair that they were in that, in that illustration with like the lot of big almost kind of like run dmc run, i was gonna say exactly <laughs> yeah. they're like run dmc kind of vibe and um because my eyes likes deteriorating really quickly as i'm getting older right the ones i'm wearing are like more michael kane but okay <laughs> yeah in that picture it's more definitely more run dmc yeah how many pairs have you got on rotation in your glasses collection uh, at the moment now two that are actually kind of the right prescription right you know. but hundreds that you've yeah. worked your way through yeah over the years. every now and again I'll, I'll 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 kind of like um go back to a pair that I bought maybe 10 years ago just to see if it still kind of works with mm -hmm. today's fashions i guess just tell us what's going on here this is when i was djing back in the late 90s i'd say mid mid to late 90s and it was a it's a black and white photograph but it was a a mustard yellow Adidas T-shirt, which was like a, a size too small, and uh, show you rippling. <laughs> hot yeah. butter. Well, this is the thing I used to do. You see, I I, I would I would definitely like buy clothes. I, I, I wouldn't say I was rippling. I was I was, I was well toned, I guess. In yeah. The commas. And yeah, I, I would, and, and I was obviously quite aware of that. And um, so I would always buy clothes that are like a size too small. Same, man. Same. Yeah, and um, e even to a point where I'll go to kind of like kids sections and buy the kind of like so like age 13 to 14 tax free so, yeah. tax free clothes exactly, man. yeah <laughs> it's all about i, yeah, I used yeah. to work at tesco when i was little i used to be in the kids section because yeah. i always have mad graphics on it oh yeah yeah no but you also get like marvel t-shirts before marvel's marvel yeah they'd already ha had had these comic strip licenses which were which were great you know, you know and only available in the kids section yeah exactly um so do you know whereabouts you're djing there that was, I was DJing at a place called Planet K. Does that exist still? No, it doesn't exist now. It's now Mint Lounge Stroke Turtle Bay on, on Oldham Street. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great venue. And it's a, an Adidas t-shirt. Adidas t-shirt. Tell yeah. us a little bit about your relationship with Adidas. Is that what you describe as your yeah, favourite sport? Yeah, that's my, definitely my go-to sports brand. I think it starts with being a Man United fan. Mm. And like when I became a United fan, it was like during the early 80s. And um, my first United kit was an Adidas kit. From then on, it's like it's, it's like a badge of honour, I guess. You mean, you know? I mean, I've always worn gazelles, you know, you know it's, there's never, until now, until, you know, like, because my feet have kind of, don't fit gazelles anymore for some weird reason. Right. But it's got such a rich cultural history, Adidas, yeah. and its relationship with the place that we're in today, Manchester, yeah. and with hip hop music, yeah. and with sport. Like, I got into United in the 90s, so I should be top to toe in Umbro, really, oh, but right, it's, yeah. uh, it's not quite got the <laughs> same cultural Q I know, kudos as Adidas. You, you wish it had because because Umbro is like like northern based. You mean and, and I wish it did, but it's just something. I think it's it's the logo as well. You mean it's, and the fact that it's like they've not changed the font like, like for time, but with Umbro, it's it's kind of evolved. And when you evolve a logo, it kind of loses its loses something. You mean okay, it? interesting. That's, that's what I think anyway. You know. Did you see that um, Umbro Nigel Caborn collaboration where he did a load of like fifties PT inspired gym wear? 
that's looked like old Umbro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently, yeah. dead, dead nice, man. Dead classy. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I've seen that, and, and also Admiral do something that, that that's quite similar as well. You mean, know, and like, um, no, yeah, that, that looks really, yeah, really nice. Yeah, nice simple look. The last is an illustration of me like aspiring to wear like the Adidas Gucci a crossover like tracksuit. It's just kind of like a, the closest I'll ever get to wearing one is is actually me illustrating myself in one because I looked at <laughs> I looked at the prices and it's like two well, and a half grand. Is it? Grand. Yeah, I'm for, like, for the full rig or for, for the, the top? Yeah, I think just for the top, I think you know, it's two and a half grand. I'm like, even if I could afford it, I wouldn't buy. Spend two and a half grand on a on an item of clothing. Imagine you know. how good you feel in it though. Oh yeah, I know. But like, what would you do in it if you had that? If you oh, had that tracksuit, just. just, just just mooch around the house. And, you know, <laughs> I, I like. I wanna, you couldn't take it out. I know, well, well, the thing was that I went to like a. This is. I, I don't know if this is sad or not, but like, um, I went to a warehouse project night. That's not sad. Like man, a, I, I, no, not finished yet. <laughs> but I got this. I have. A, I, I got a fake Gucci tracksuit, and I wore that basically all in one kind of monogram, like green. Yeah, yeah. And red. It, it was. It was. A, it was a dark. It was a navy. The navy. Navy blue one. With like like red trim, red and cream trim. You're not going to wear a real Gucci tracksuit to a to a yeah. rave, are you? Well, if they give me one for free, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is the idea, you know. <laughs> I'm fascinated by like jag um, designer goods. You know, yeah. there's areas in Manchester. What's the road up near uh, the prison? Oh, where, Cheat Mill. Cheat like Mill. Cheat Mill yeah. Like going in there and seeing all the knockoff stuff and yeah. what. Uh, kind of knockoff designer takes from the real. I, I love that like photocopied version of yeah. it. It's like real, but not real. And it, it's got a weight to itself. It's not yeah. just the fake, it's a thing in and of itself. Yeah, so yeah. that interesting. But I know it's in a, a recurring tracksuit theme that I think we'll get onto in the main podcast. Yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> Strangers, oh, I guess almost by strangers.